So, hey guys, uh, welcome to my 100th video. I have been at this a supremely long time. Um, actually, a hundred videos worth of time. And while most of those are little three-minute doinkers with indie games, that means I have played, like, 60, 55 indie games that are just crazy, so my desktop is pretty crazy looking. Um, but you're wondering, Ben, what is this Ronaldo thing, and why are his eyes words? Well, uh, that is because I worked on this game. I was actually one of four or five people, five people, that, um participated in the Global Game Jam, and Ronaldo was our entry. Um, the, uh, the seed phrase for the Game Jam was something along the lines of, like, we don't see things as they are, we see things as we are. And so, being a bunch of literal programmers, we took this as um, a fox wanting to become a man, and, um, you know, then deciding he didn't want to. Well, Ronaldo is a game about a fox that steals clothing to become a human. Uh, now you're wondering, Ben, why are you playing this game? You're going to dominate it. But no, uh, we made this game, uh, fun fact, and we made this game using Unity. And the Unity development environment window is actually widescreen. So when we made this game, it was a lot easier than it is now. So no one has ever successfully beaten all three levels of Ronaldo, um, without it crashing, that is. So we're going to try really hard. So, <laughs> um... Let's let's do this thing. Story mode. Um, there we go. No, my um. There we go. Well, the sound effects are a little quiet. Just give me one second here. I'm gonna crank that stuff up. There we go. All right. Well. All right. Try this again. So uh, yeah, the the way this game works is. Oh my gosh. Oh, I seems to have malfunct caused it to malfunction. Nope. No, it's good. Um. The point of this game is you are trying to escape the security guard who's going to throw you out of the store. And there I was. I didn't even win. I got 23,000 points, though. And Ronaldo is very sad. Fun fact, these buttons are my handwriting, and we just didn't have time to change the placeholders before we shipped. So, you know, nice buttons, awful buttons. Let's try this again, shall we? Here we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. That's some Ronaldo action. Yeah. All right. So I'm awful at this game, and this could take a very long time. So you might want to relax and get used to it. Oh, my God. The game is really hard. Um, we were giant jerks when we did it. Uh, it also doesn't help that a uh, little insight to the game's design Um because we were running as a game jam, there was sort of a craw mixed message there at the point in which one person wanted Ronaldo to slow down when um, you hit an obstacle, which is correct. The other person also wanted to um, animate that by having the security guard run faster. Well, um, both got into the final version of the game, just in case you wondered why <laughs> you pretty much get caught if you hit anything. So we're going to try real hard not to here. Look at that guy go. All right, we can slowly outpace him here, and he'll just sit at the edge of the screen. And those sparkly things are collectibles. Those increase your score by, I, I don't, I think it's a random amount. I think, I think it's a random amount, um, which is professional. Uh, let's see here. The other thing is, every time you die, the game gets longer. So uh, it, you sort of have to, if you want to get past the first level, you wanna, you gotta get it the first time. So here we go. Stop that fox. All right, we're not, I'm gonna just like stay as close to this guy as I can without actually. Shit. I am really bad at this game. All right, all right, here we go. Well, I guess, uh, just to keep you guys entertained and to talk about it, uh, all of the, the sound effects that Ronaldo makes between bouncing around and falling and jumping, and you may not be able to hear that much of them because they're pretty quiet, but they're all done by me um, on my acoustic guitar. I actually sat down and just made jumping noises and stuff on my guitar and recorded them. Uh, I should have possibly been being useful to the rest of the project, but that's what I wanted to do, and they were kind enough to let me do that. Also, this fox is very flammable. He just bursts into flames. Oh, yeah, there we go. There, oh, what? 
part of the trick is you really got to... Oh, he started right on top of me. All right. Well, part of the trick is you really got to stay on the top row, and I haven't been able to get up there yet, so we'll see. Beautiful. Fun fact also, um, I guess I'll just keep talking since I can't win at this game. Uh, another thing that I'd really like to think is really cool is the all of the background art, the carts, the shopping rack, the uh, boxes, the everything, were designed by different team members who were not the lead artist on this game. Um, the lead artists we had were actually uh, Will and Alex, and they did an awesome job. But um, all of this background stuff, first of all, this background was designed by somebody, but the... Uh, these, all of these things were designed by the less artistically inlined um, team members that we had, people, and so it was really fun because when we got done, we got to put all of their art into, directly into the game. And you know what? It doesn't look bad at all, um, but I just really, I, I, that's a cute little anecdote. I'm not going to even make it past the first level, am I, guys? This is going to be the worst video I have ever produced. Oh, my God. All right, try it again. All right, so we're back. We're still here. I uh, clicked quit because I thought if I make it full screen, maybe I will do a better job. It remains to be seen, doesn't it? All right, let's see. God. Ugh. That uh, blue background seam, that, that, uh, that, that's Stanley's Bane right there. Uh, he knew it was there all along, but he couldn't go back and fix it because we ran out of time. Also, we kind of ran out of fucks to give. Because for those of you who don't know what a game jam is, it means you basically stay up for three days straight and go from nothing to a game. And so even a game like this, as you can see, has its rough edges after three days. I mean, we were 20 minutes out from submission. We still didn't have any art in place. It was a Captain Red box and the Gray box of death, I think, or blue box of death. In any case, I should really try to play this game because otherwise I will just sit here all damn day. All damn day. Ah, oh, whatever. I don't have any plans. Let's do this. All right. I think the trick here is to kind of back up to like where as close to him as you can get and then just bank on not making a mistake. Oh, look, I made a mistake. All right. God, ugh. All right, starting to get a little. All right, I can do this. I can. I've gotten past the first level so many times, and I don't know why I can't do it now. Six months rusty, I guess. I haven't played this. All right, let's just keep going. Keep going. Take a moment. Just relax for a second. Just kind of sit back. Listen to that tasty jam. All right, let's fucking play this game again. All right, here we go. Come on. Come on. Come on. Ronaldo, run. You can do this. <sighs> yes! Made it... Oh, that was so dumb. So dumb! All right. Come on, Ronaldo. We can do this. Uh, with three lives and three levels, this game is balls hard. Balls hard. Uh. I like that grinding sound effect we've got there. That's actually, I think, a bug um, of him just landing repeatedly when he's on the bars. But I totally like to think of it as our fox grinding. <sighs> well, I hope you're s settled in. I hope you have beverages and things and possibly a novel because I could really be doing this for a while. All right. 
Okay. I created you! I created you! Why do you vex me so? God damn it. All right. <clears throat> Just take a chill pill. Just chill. It's all good. All right. Let's fucking kill. Let's do this. Here we go. Here we go. Oh my, oh my god. I can't even play this game anymore. Like, at all. I'm too twitchy. I just keep messing up. Alright, 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 alright. 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 My goal was to play through this entire game. But I don't think that's gonna happen. So why don't we just try to get off the first level? And you guys agree. I know, I know. It's very disappointing that I would to give up like that. But, um, otherwise I will literally be here forever. And honestly, I will probably take longer for me to get to the third level than it will for you to watch enough of this video to actually be longer than it took to make this game. I mean, it's a distinct possibility. Yeah, grind it! Oh, yeah. Okay, so that was nice. We did good. We did it! You like that? That was me. I did that. All right. Uh, sorry. All right. Level two. Now, as Ronaldo, um, level two, Ronaldo has uh, more human appearance. He's got a scarf. He's got some gloves and boots. He's ready to kick it. Now, that sort of changes how he fits through obstacles. So it actually makes the game a little bit harder, just sort of organically, because while his profile horizontally is less, his uh, profile vertically is a lot more. So you have to sort of time your jumps a little better. You also just can't run directly into that man. Um, and guess what? Starting over from the beginning. Okay, guys. We saw that it was possible. We did it. All you have to do is not fuck up for like 30 seconds. It's just, it's not that hard. Apparently it is that hard. All right. Oh. All right, guys. Here's what I'm going to do. Rather than me sit here and try to beat this game for a million billion years, I'm going to issue a challenge to you, the viewer and or watcher and or listener, depending on whether or not you're sight impaired. Um, you are going to play Ronaldo. And if you beat Ronaldo and you can provide me with proof... And by proof, I will accept a screenshot or a video or whatever. Or don't. You know, just fucking tell me about it in the comments. If you can get to level three of Ronaldo and get to that point where he runs off the edge of the screen like that, um, you win. And I have never seen the victory screen to my own game. So it would absolutely make my day if maybe you posted that in the comments or you uh, posted it on the Facebook group. I don't know. Uh, but it's been fun. Uh, producing videos for you and I hope that I can stick around for another hundred videos and if I do that I will play BroQuest which is a game I made during my undergraduate program and I will beat that entire game hint it's a lot easier than this one all right guys uh, I hope to see you for hundreds and hundreds more videos that seems weird I will see you next time take it real real easy